Hi, hello, and welcome to the weekly tarot buffet brought to you by Vertex of Abundance. My name is Serene Priestess of Blossy. I'll be your oracle today. I was sent to deliberate the findings for the week of the 3rd through the 9th. And that's going to be... Jeez, the devil is really just doing the most today. Oof. Okay. Hi, we're having issues on top of issues, wrapped in issues, surrounded by issues, compounded by issues, issues. And I don't want to do no editing. Okay, there we go. Oh, child, I, let me tell you, it's just been a difficult day, but you know what? Y'all don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't know. You must not know about me, nothing about our blood sea. Okay, so um, it's the third through the ninth. Okay, and this is for Earth rising signs. And if you can hear the cat in the background, it's the day before. She gets very needy, so we're just gonna leave that alone. She's got plenty of attention. Don't worry. I'm I'm not one to leave a crying baby in the background. I'm not that type of parent. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so I did hear that song before um, I started the 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 broadcast here and um it's that line you can pack all your bags you finish because you made your bed not lay in it <laughs> um so the big event this week is that jupiter is gonna be sextiling the sun so jupiter's in the sign of gemini so if you are an earth rising sun going to be your fourth, eighth, or twelfth house. We have the higher fence. The page of swords. There may be somebody here feeling indecisive. Indecisive. It can be that they're feeling like they, there's something that they need to learn. It could also be that there is an opposing mind. There's some ego death here because somebody's been indecisive, it feels. We are having to deal with some prickly expansion. We have a double three, so there may be collaborations, cooperations, co-creations, or there may be orchestrations, machinations, <clears throat> collaborations against us. It's more like the jury's out kind of energy is what I'm getting because there's some kind of gift or blessing up for grabs here. Now I'm detecting that there's some energy other outside of ourselves trying to take a stand, maybe mount a defense of some kind. So we can be coming out of a hard time where for a while our expansion, our access, our franchise, our purchase was blocked didn't call it the major so we have the higher event the death card will of fortune then we i call it the court cards as well it's just the page of swords right now and we have the king of swords with the queen of wands so we had to defend our spot with this queen of wands we actually have a crown and there were people collaborating against us i don't know what that looks like i don't have all the energy of an in enemy so let's just talk about it as an energy there was something hidden. Okay, baby. 
we 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 made an agreement, child. Excuse me, just for a second, darling. What did I say to you, honey? What I don't like repeating myself, cat. You're smart enough to know, honey. Go now. No more of this. Do not upset me. Excuse me, madam. Please go. Thank you. So there's some hidden. Okay, darling. Either come over here and sit down or be silent. We're not having this today. Okay, so we have this energy of like a hidden agenda, ulterior motive. There are some things bumping in the night. Now there's something needing to be confronted and it is gonna happen. I'm detecting that some truth is coming out. I just don't see it yet here. And on our end, we're getting like clearance to go on, to move on, to move through, to pull through. So right now, the sun is moving through our 12th. Excuse me. So I was incorrect when I talked about Jupiter because the sun is moving through our 12th, 4th, 8th house. So our 2nd, 6th, or 10th house is where we're going to have Jupiter. So there's going to be growth, expansion, vitality, renewal, reinvigoration <clears throat> in the places of our life that are things are going bump in the night, hiding behind our back. There is a dark night of the soul here. And there's some kind of judgment being rendered. It's coming from the higher ups, whether it's the top of the organization or not. Well, with the high first card out, it can be the executive leadership in, in an organization, even if it's a church community or a community organization, like nonprofit, some kind of social group. Um, or if it's like a large scale organization, like a con conglomerate of sorts. There's some decision coming because things are bumping in the night. I keep saying that, so it's very true. We've had to defend our spot and, and somebody is mounting some kind of defense. They're trying to <clears throat> ruthlessly, tactically, viciously, violently, take something but what happens is their energy their effort their attention actually brings an ending for them somebody's going to be taken out of their spot and it's not us it's them whatever agenda that they have whatever plans that they got off the ground in the past it doesn't work and it's delayed they get the message late they learn their lesson late they tried to block us, destroy something for some reason or another. It doesn't work. But something that's been out of our, see, triumph. Something that's been out of our control. We might not even know. It might have been going on behind our back. It might have gone over our head, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, a lot of wands, especially the Wheel of Fortune of the Emperor, it does mean that like somebody goes over your head, somebody goes around your back. Yeah, so I'm also getting that there's been a lot of energy manipulation, shape-shifting, cloaking in our energy, things of that nature, or just trying to hide us. We get let out of something because there was a little gossip. It started out with that, but it was in the past. And when it came to us, the other person was like, mom's the word. They acted stupid, like they didn't know what was going on. It's like they threw a rock at us and then hit their hand behind their back. Somebody here may be wanting a decision to come out. And they've been fighting Seven of Wands death card. They've been fighting that moment and it's here. They're overwhelmed. They're suffering under the weight of the causes that they made. I don't see the 10 of wands here, but that's buckling under the weight of karmic causes, 10 of wands. Yeah, because there, there's deliberation right now, two of swords, king of swords. Somebody's been assigned to work a case and it's a karmic judgment case. It's some kind of adjudication, magistration here, 
neutrality, logic, equality. And I keep hearing that song, you can pack all your bags, you finished, because you made your bed, now lay in it. Okay, well, oops. Yeah, and I, while I was, I mean, I went on a walk today. It's something I do after meals, like a French lady, but um, I was, did, I was getting a download, like somebody thought they would leave us behind needy and then come back around later on and, and that that neediness would wear us down, that they could take everything from us so that we'd have to choose them but then they were going to play games with us. That that kind of diabolical, malicious-ish that you get. Now, with the moon card or the hangman or sometimes the two of pentacles, you have to look at both sides. So you have to look at the reverse and the upright meaning of the card. The eight of pentacles in reverse is like trying to force somebody to love you a little bit. It's called cupidity. Same thing with the six of pentacles, which, here, which is here. Um, it's also like um, jealousy, pride, envy. Okay, and then... Um, Something got excessive with the six of swords if that was in the reverse with the eight of cups. Somebody won't leave us alone. It's kind of a stalker energy. We had to withdraw. We had to detach. There was gossip. Okay. And the love that was here was false. It was phony. It was fictitious. Okay. So... They're suffering here because of causes that were made in the past. I feel like there's a friend that wants us. They're, they're, they're not a real friend. They want to be a lover. But they're, they're blocking from going any further. There may even be a break in the relationship where we're separated right now, not talking, because they didn't see our value. And that's what's going to make them come back when they see that they overlooked or misplaced or mistook something. They're going to come back, try to start out from nowhere, like nothing happened. I don't like that energy at all. You need to be accountable for what you did. You need to cop to your ish. If you did something and it's up and it's stuck, you need to say that. But they're a, a maricona, mentirosa. They're a liar, a cheater. Como se dice cheater in español? I don't even know how to say it in Italian. Cheat. I'm hearing game Gambia, like they 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 they're they're game player, um, and they want to come off like a like an advisor. But see, this marionette is uh, this the devil card in this deck, and then <clears throat> excuse me, perdón. Okay, and then this is the empress card in this deck it's um care like nurturing care that kind of energy is what the empress represents so they're fake whenever the devil or the moon card is there it means fake this fake that imposter this so it doesn't always mean not real it can mean lower less quality like spray painting gold still fake gold does that make sense it's not like a real so that's that's what i'm getting that whatever this is supposed to be it's not authentic because they're masking themselves in energy or they're hiding or cloaking something or a sign. Shake, shake, the shake, shake. What is that? Mentirosa, 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 mentirosa. Okay. 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 So yeah, um, I was, I'm cursing up a storm here. So there is, regret from the past, but they couldn't decide or think for themselves. And honestly, whenever they were approached to be honest, honest, authentic, genuine, sincere, bye, 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 Dika. Her name is Chandika. So if you hear me say Dika, it's her nickname. Okay, I know I say Chandi, but that, Okay, so <laughs> the the thing is, what I'm getting is that they were confronted and they decided to cause a ruckus and they went around collaborating. So sometimes when a, a toxic person can't fool you, they go around 
to people that you know so that you can't complain about them. They try to paint you into a corner, give you, a, does that make sense? So whatever this is, they're, they're ready. And then they didn't expect us to make the move that we made. And when they saw us beginning to make that move or when they saw that the plans were failing, they went around preparing for that situation. But now they're realizing like, oh, I should have just came in and been real and authentic. And now they can't do that. Now they want to do the responsible thing. But the thing is, you have the moment and it's gone. I'm hearing that if it's up, then it's stuck. Yeah, homie. Oops. <sighs> yeah, so they should have deep insight and wisdom into the situation, but they're kind of a fake teacher or they're going off of fake guidance. They're refusing to look at themselves. And honestly, they're trying to strip us, but what we're doing with whatever we're being stripped of is we're incorporating that in as changes. We're finding a way. Yeah, see, the five of pentacles and the sun, unless we're losing our divinity, what it is is that changes are being called upon to make and we're making those changes. And even if we're going without, it's not like we're going without. If you lose somebody and you gain yourself, who do you think won? If you lose something, but you gain your peace of mind, who's really the winner? Sometimes you take an L and it, it, and it serves you. That's hard to believe. But if you lose a leg, you can't be drafted for the military. You know, if you lose a business opportunity, you might not be in that area location when a tragedy happens. You know what I mean? If you lose a job, you might, you might not be on the road or crossing the bridge when it collapses. Does that make sense? And yeah, okay, who wants to lose? The only thing you want less of is debt, drama, taxes, you know? Nobody wants to live with less of anything. I get it, I agree with it. I'm just saying like, it, when, when the sun in the, here it's called worry, but it's uh, cinque de nari, you, five of, here it's five of this, five of pentacles. Baby, come on, come up here or go. Okay, she's a day before he, come on, come on. I was working, darling, you gotta be, you gotta be silent. Honey, baby. Hey, girl, can you look at me? What's going on? Okay, your food is gonna egg soon, isn't it? I'm sorry, honey. Don't get the warm blanket out. Okay, you gotta go, you gotta go with your ruckus. Okay, let me work, honey. So this is what's happening. They thought we would lose out, that, that we would lose fortune, that we would lose favor, that we would lose acclaim, that we would lose respect, that we would lose our reputation, that we would lose our hope, our joy, our wish, our prayer. And really what we did was we found ourselves. We're now the queen of wands with the fortune card. La fortuna, the will of fortune upright means it's, it's the good side of the karmic will. What does that mean? It means that even though something bad happened, there was luck in unluck. There was fortune in misfortune. It's like a happy accident. Sometimes you fail upwards. Sometimes you stumble into success, but you look funny. You look silly. You look awkward stumbling. But hey, what happens? Sometimes you stumble in, into a pot of gold. And that's exactly what happened to us. Whatever their agenda was, it didn't work. And they did get their agenda off the ground. It just elevated us in a way that they couldn't imagine. See? Ha ha. Ha ha. Dispiacere. So there is a good side to this. Because look, the people that, that they wanted to complain on us about, they're now looking at us differently. So sometimes bad publicity is still publicity. So they advertised us by running around keeping our name in their mouth because they they did something bad where we had to put, they killed something. They killed something for us, but it only elevated us. Hey, baby, Baba's working. What do we say? Thank you. So they did kill something for us, but what they did was they put us on the map there's a whole bunch of people talking about us because of what they did.
I'm hearing that sitting on the dock of the bay. What's that, Otis Redding? Watching time. I did it, did did it, did it, did it, did it. And then we have the three of wands here, Vertuna, um, ver virtue. Um, I'm hearing truth though. The truth is coming because it's the three of swords. Hi, baby. Thank you for behaving. The, it, it's the, she can't really help it when she's in heat. She'll be in heat tomorrow. It's preheat. Right, oh, baby. Give me a day. Give me a day. Okay, then go. I'm sorry. I'm not fucking with you right now, girl. Excuse me. Excuse my language. Um, it's the three of wands, three of swords. The truth is coming in, especially with the death card there. And they're fighting it. They're fighting the truth and coming out. <laughs> okay, honey. I see a sun coming out. That's what the sun is with the five of wands. So the truth emerges like, like the sun, the moon. The truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it. Ignorance may derail it. But in the end, there it is. It's always going to come out. Ooh, I just know that something good is going to happen. <laughs> yeah so here we are sitting pretty they don't like that speranza i can't help you girl i can't help you but that that wasn't for the cat that was okay so apparently this person who did it was um um morona is a, a female like a mother figure or an older woman um marone like Oh, mama, like she, yeah, she's a big female character. Not on that. Usually it's the mother, like, oh, me, kind of like that. Um, so what this means is that people are now in their quiet place of contemplation. And in this whole mess, actually, actually, Bye. Nonke. Armagri. Miri. Miri. So they were told, excuse me, I'm sorry. They were told. They were told not to do this, but probably from us is what I'm getting. And now what's happening is that karma's coming back around. And I, I just keep being told like, they thought we were gonna lose and they enjoyed it. And so now what's happening is, cause this is like a Virgo person. They could be a Virgo moon, sun rising, don't know, don't care. Um, what I'm getting actually is that this is like a Virgo rising energy. So it, it, when you see rising sign if, and it's not their rising sign, it means they're living in that Virgo energy. So. Here's the deal. When a Virgo goes bad, it's it's harsh. I'd rather deal with a Scorpio. Because the thing is, like, a Virgo has details. A Virgo understands how to, like, um, and, and you don't see this ever because it doesn't really happen. Here's why it doesn't happen. Because Virgo is the earth angel energy. A lot of people think it's temperance. The temperanza is actually the ministering angel. Virgo and Libra are the actual energy of the earth angel. And then Virgo is the temple priestess. Does that make sense? So. Um, you don't want somebody with like a sacred position going nasty, going bad. When this person gets corrupt, it's, uh oh, uh oh, no. So, um, I just know that something good is gonna happen. Yeah. It just ain't it clear to see. On top of the world. Yeah, they had a really good agenda strategy, whatever, what have you. It didn't work for them. It didn't work for them. Yeah, so they're stuck now wherever they are because they're just evil. They left us in a sunken place too. And they did this on purpose and in secret. Militare, the operator. So, um, yeah, and, and they kept it going for a while too. That was their intention. That was their endeavor. Okay. 
Okay, and then there's the Queen of Swords. Wee. Okay, so it's over. Something is lifting. What they successful? What they wanted was to ruin. Now they want to block this group of people that knows the truth about them. And again, it, they perfectly unraveled themselves. They, there's not much they can do for cups. There's not a lot of franchise purchases that they have. We're the ones with the upper hand, um, Prince of Wands, especially or Knight of Wands, especially with the Temperanza, the Temperance here, because now what we're desiring is to banish them or to punish them or do whatever, what have you. And see, what I'm being told right now is all that needs to happen to a liar is for the, the other person, the opponent. If a person tries to destroy you with lies, it's interesting when all you have to do to destroy them is tell the truth. That's the situation that they're in right now as well. I hid my yo yo in the garden. Okay. But every time it rains, there's the judgment card. I hear your voice in my head, yeah. Like the sun's coming out. Yeah, you know, this is the voice of God or the throne of God or the wrath of God. It, and it, it's Archangel Michael. The will of fortune comes out again with the entire heaven. So you have Yamanti in La Il Justizio. The, Amanti is like the heavens, it's Faglo. And then is Indra, and then we also have Indra Lok here. So the heavens have, because we have a blessing on our life, a calling on our life, and they want us to return to being around chosen people. So something that was taken from us is returning. We're getting a reconciliation, a reunion with our own blessing, our own favor, our own fortune. The Six of Cups came out twice. The Will of Fortune came out twice. And then the devil just showed himself in Diablo. What do you want, Shamaya? You gotta go. Because if somebody could be a Capricorn rising as well. I'm hearing that's who they collaborated, co-created with. Somebody also may be a Capricorn moon, a Capricorn um, south node. They could also be a um, Li Libra rising. They could also be A Venus in Cancer. Okay. So it's over. Whatever they've done is over. And the Two of Cups came out twice as well. So here's that Ten of Wands. So they're buckling under the weight of their own karmic causes. They hung themselves, essentially. Yeah, because they, they tried to do magic and it's backfiring on them, but it's not like the normal backfire where you do the magic spell, you project the energy and it doesn't take. This is the kind of magic spell where they've just done the most, they've done it badly. It, it, it was poor magic. Whatever they thought they could do, it didn't work correctly. It wasn't detect, it wasn't the typical backfire where the energy or the, the sacrifice wasn't accepted. This was like their magic worked, but now, but it, they shouldn't have done the magic. They shouldn't have made that cause because now that cause has been made, they can't take it back. Yeah, there was a trickster and a liar and they had hidden agendas and ulterior motives and they did sorcery. And now they're trying to fool everyone, con everyone, it was to perpetuate some type of mirage, some type of image, some type of smoke screen, some type of... It's like the... Oh. They don't want us to be seen as a genuine article. They don't want anybody to see who we really are. But they were feeling some kind of way, probably because they couldn't touch our anointing. They wanted our throne. They wanted to sit in our spot is what, is what it was. 
Okay, so here we have the throne and the crown here with Imperatore, La Imperatrice. And again, it's this is a very coveted spot, Six of Wands. And they're of an opposing mind. So this is an opponent, Two of Swords with La Luna, the Moon. La Luna, it means that there's hidden agendas, ulterior motives. I was saying that the whole time. So here's what's going to happen. They're caught, they're guilty of something with the Nine of Swords, and it's going to curse them to purgatory. They've got to pay for what they did. Because they caused the hardship to somebody who's authentic, genuine, and sincere, and who's an official person. Well, it's been an honor and a pleasure to serve. Thank you for allowing the privilege to do so. If anything that was said resonates deeply with me, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a review book, a session, send a donation. Until we meet again, until we read again, namaste, dandava, and ashe. Arva, sayonara, avita, zain. I absolutely love you. I honor you. I praise you. Thank you for allowing me the privilege and the pleasure to serve you. I'll talk to you soon, my darling. Take care, honey. Bye.